Uh, Jerry, this is your personal Bible. Yes, sir. Correct? How, long, how old is it? 19 years. And how long has it been in oil? Over two years now. Jerry, how did this whole thing start? Well, it, it started after two years of prayer. There was seven of us got together once a week, and we prayed for two years. And one Monday night, we were in prayer, and we got out later than normal, and the oil came out of it enough that it went all the way through Revelations, the concordance, and it has saturated it all the way back. Yeah, yeah. I saw the map of the Middle East and Israel, and what, 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 what happened with the oil on Israel on that page, next page? It started to flow through the Bible. When it got to the back of the Bible, it went into the maps and the concordance and stopped. And when it stopped, it formed a heart over the Middle East. Uh, engineers or someone you knew on their own had this tested scientifically. And what did the report say about this oil? The analysis came back and they said it had some of the characteristics of mineral oil, but most of the chemical makeup of it, they didn't know what it was. They said they knew that it was not manufactured by any man, and the only, uh, the final result they had on the report was it's unexplainable. Tell me a tremendous physical healing that happened from this oil being used. Lord, there's so, there's so many of them that, that uh, there was, there were, uh, we were in a, a, a church in Tennessee, and I got a text from a lady where her grandbaby had went into the kitchen and he was 20 months old, and he stuck his hand in the burner, turned the burner on on the stove, and he just mutilated his hand. And they took him to the ER, and they said he's going to have to have multiple surgeries. He'll never have full use of his hand again. She went back to church, and the Lord spoke to her and said, go dip his hand in the oil. So they went up to, and it was wrapped up. They went up to the altar, dipped his hand in the oil, went back and sat down. The next morning, she took him back to the doctor. They unwrapped his hand. It was perfectly normal, like he had never been burned. And she said, he'll have perfect use of his hand. Do people get healed when they just see the oil, not even if they're not anointed? We took it to a church uh, about three weeks ago, and we're walking through the lobby going into the sanctuary. There was a lady standing there drinking coffee who couldn't hear in either of her ears, and she was going to have surgery that Thursday. When they walked through with the oil going into the sanctuary, both of her ears popped open, and she... Hey, guys. I got an interesting video for you this morning. It's not horror-related, but it is... Uh, a supernatural phenomenon, I guess you could call it. Um, so there is a jar of the anointed oil, the, the oil that, that leaks or flows from the Holy Bible. Uh, I had a co-worker of mine uh, actually went to one of the local events about a month ago where... You know, they were traveling around and they, they came through our area or somewhat close to our area. And uh, my coworker actually went to the event and brought me back one of these little jars or vials of the uh, so called miracle oil. Um, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical of the whole thing, but at the same time, there is some you know, good proof that it could be a legit, you know, um, I'm on a fence about the whole thing. And I was actually kind of curious to what you guys think too. But if you weigh out the, uh, the skeptic side along with the believer side, they're pretty much even for the most part. I mean, just off the top of my head, uh, First off, we'll start with the skeptic side. The red flags for me is that the gentleman with the Bible that owns the Bible has been asked repeatedly to set up a time-lapse video camera to actually uh, video the Bible leaking the oil 
over a, a time a time lapse type of deal and he's refused to do it he's basically comments that you know true believers don't they just need to believe they don't need to see it but guys that would that would just guarantee the the proof that people would be looking for i do see it from his side you know but i mean that would be one way just to legitimately prove that it's leaking oil uh another part is they say they don't want money for this oil um not sure how true that is because since this vi uh, video uh, uh, went viral of his a couple years ago they've actually done tours all around the country and like i said they just came through our area about a month ago and my co-worker said she had to pay for tickets i don't know she told me the price but i forget off the top of my head what what it was but you know it, it costs money to go into this event so who gets the money for that that's my question Secondly, um, if you go to their website, which is his name is flowing oil. If you go to that website and look at um, the bottom of the page, there is a PayPal donation button. So people can actually donate. Where's that money go? What's that money for? So there's a couple, there's a few red flags. That's just a few off the top of my head. Um, now on the believer side, um, and this, this is really hard to, you know, kind of put out of your mind. The Bible has been in oil for about a couple years, two or three years now. How come the Bible hasn't deteriorated? How come the pages are still in there intact? How come the ink and the, the highlight? The highlights that he did on some of the scriptures aren't faded or smeared in any way. Um, that's pretty, pretty strange to me, guys. I don't know how that, usually when you submerge paper and oil or anything like that, or water or liquid in general, it would start to get soggy and start to fall apart. Um, so that that's kind of gets me. Somebody, somebody even said, well, maybe the pages are laminated, but the videos I've seen, it looks like they're flipping through them pretty easily, and it, they don't look like they have any kind of lamination or anything on them, to me, anyway. Um, the other part is um, the testimonials from people using this oil to actually cure elements and, uh, you know, from uh, putting on injuries and, and, and being sick and actually healing and everything like that. Now, some people there, they would say, well, you know, placebo effect. If you believe it's, it's real, you know, you, you can actually, your mind can heal itself. And all you need is that little bit of a hope or something like that to, to, to actually, you know, basically you're healing yourself, but with the under with the thought process that this oil is real that's what some claim as well um i don't know guys i have no idea uh i just wanted to present this let you guys know that i did get a bottle here or a jar i guess you could say um oh yeah and the other thing is it's supposedly it's been tested by chemists and they say that there's properties in it that are unknown and that are not human or man generated i mean that's another claim that they say <clears throat> so i don't know guys uh what do you think i'd like to uh you know maybe you guys can make some comments in the uh comments section i'm just curious to see what everyone thinks about it maybe i'll do a little poll and see how many people actually believe it and how many don't um uh, but yeah either way i i'm I like the fact that I got a jar here of it and I'm going to put it in our curio cabinet with our other religious stuff we have. And uh, that's all I got for you today. Like I said, comment below and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.